Also, the coalition of Ijo interest groups and stakeholders in the environmental sector in Bayaso State are asking the federal government to demonstrate to the international community its commitment to take remedial action on polluted communities rather than making endless promises to the people. They are urging the government to implement the Environmental Genocide Report released by Bayelso State Oil and Environmental Commission. We have more in this report. It's about a month after a report titled An Environmental Genocide Counting the Human Cost of Oil in Bayelso, Nigeria was released. <laughs> the Coalition of Ijo Interest Groups is alarmed that in spite of damning reports of oil spills in rural communities, the Bayelso State Government is yet to implement recommendations made by the former Archbishop of York, Lord John Sentamu. The 211-page is a detailed documentation of the over 60 years of oil exploration and pollution in Bayelsa, a state where oil was first discovered in commercial quantity in Nigeria by Shell. But the time for action by the state government. The Bayelsa people and the communities will be served well if the government can immediately demonstrate to the international environmental community, governments, commitments to immediately take remedial action. The stakeholders want President Bola Tinubu and the state government to come up with a Niger Delta environmental remediation program and impose stern sanctions, including the revocation of land leases over operational sites of repeated environmental breaches. We do call on the federal government and the state government to use its existing powers to ensure that the people of Bielsa State, in particular, and the people of the Niger Delta, in general, are not killed by the pollution caused by oil exploration in our region. Time has come for the owners to get up and unison call upon the conscience of the world. And I guess this report demonstrates that there is need for humanity to have a concerted collective action to prevent the ongoing genocide in the Delta. Something else. Part of the recommendations suggested to clean up the land include appointment of Bayelsa State Special Council on Environmental Justice Enforcement and dedication of 5 to 10 percent of Bayelsa State's revenues to invest as part of the Environmental Recovery Fund. Zerayekou TVC News, Lagos.